So you know Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It's a lot of people's favorite Assassin's Creed game because it's really unique, it's pirate themed, what's there not to love? Well, it's been on the top of people's lists of favorite games for a decade now. Yes, it came out almost exactly 10 years ago. It'll be 10 years in October. And after all that time, you would think that if you wanted to play it, you could simply boot it up, maybe get it on discount and play it. Well, that was true until just a few short days ago when Ubisoft dropped a patch that completely broke it. Now, full transparency, I actually wanted to do an I tried of Black Flag where I go back and I try the game for the first time in a good long while. And we see kind of how the mechanics shape up, especially looking at Skull and Bones. It recently leaked that Ubisoft is going to allegedly be doing a remake of Black Flag, which is going to be important here in a second. But when I booted the game up, I realized that there's a couple of problems. For one, the game now only runs in windowed mode. I don't, I don't know why even like alt enter doesn't do it. it. It just doesn't respond to that command at all. When you go into options, there's nothing under graphics for you to change this. You can change resolution in these settings, but you can't actually tweak whether it's full screen or windowed, it's really, really strange. And furthermore, you'll also notice with that little graph in the top left that the only option is 60 Hertz. You can't run this game at a higher frame rate, no matter what hardware you're running on. And again, like this stuff was not broken like this until shortly after the leaks came out about a remake, which has a lot of people stroking their conspiracy beards, wondering if maybe this is part of a grand scheme that Ubisoft maybe is breaking this version of Black Flag because they're going to replace it with this other full priced version. So they're going to make this version unplayable and sell you the fixed version or the new version. And let me just get this out of the way up front. That's not what this is, okay? That Black Flag remake is still reportedly years away and Black Flag still sells pretty decently consistently. Just look at the Steam reviews and the number of people playing it. People are still buying this thing today. There's no reason for them to unlist it or make it just totally broken and unplayable years before they sell you the cure for the poison they just injected you with. You know, it doesn't make any sense at all. And there's a saying that goes, never attribute to malice that which can be adequately explained by stupidity or incompetence. And in this case, I think it's much more likely that Ubisoft simply updated the game for one reason that I'll get to in just a second and then happen to accidentally screw it up and break the game completely because they just, I mean, come on. Does anybody really expect <laughs> any more? Like, come on, dude. And speaking of, what did they actually update this for? Well, I've done some digging and I've read through all of the Steam reviews and compared versions and gameplay and stuff that I have saved on my server from previous times I've played. And all I can really figure is that they updated a couple of menus so that you can pull up this like you play a sort of menu screen, which you could do before, but they updated it with a couple of tie-ins to other Assassin's Creed games. And the store also got an update, which is no shocker to anybody whatsoever. So it's really unclear what they even did with this patch. And then it broke the game and they've said nothing. They've done nothing. Maybe by the time you're seeing this, they fixed it. I don't know, but it's been a while at this point and still no fix. It's just, like this. But Lou, cry me a river, just play the game in windowed mode. Okay, okay. Well, if you try to do that and you launch single player, for one, I just want to point out this update deleted all my saves. So that sucks. But even if you happen to get into the game and start playing, you're going to be greeted with a handful of new graphical glitches, such as this one where the rain is casting shadows, I think. And you can see that it just doesn't sit properly on the deck of the ship. It's really, really disorienting and weird. And it wasn't like that before, but also a lot of people have reported a bug that causes the load screen to just sit there infinitely. So they can't even load in at all. And I happen to be very fortunate in that my PC for whatever reason decided it likes the game and is willing to run it. But a bunch of people have gotten to the point where now this game that they've bought, they just simply can't play because Ubisoft updated it for some reason to update the store listings or whatever and broke the game in the process somehow, which honestly is just stunning. <laughs> so is it the end of the world? I, I guess not. Like 
I'm pissed that my save files are gone. I played a lot of this game on PC and now I, I, I don't know if I can get these back. I don't know if Steam has backups. I guess if somebody knows, let me know in the comment section because I'd like to be able to retrieve those save files if I can. I might just be out of luck though. And beyond that, I mean, there's people that have paid good money for this game and they just can't play it now. And that's just stupid. And there's no word from Ubisoft. There's no rush to fix it. Uh, I will admit the timing is a little hilarious that right around the time the leaks come out about a remake for this game, they totally break it. It's just, it's delightfully Ubisoft in its its poetic execution, if I'm being real. And while I originally intended this video to be like a fun return to the game and looking at how the different systems work and being like, oh, well, we could have done this with a Pirates of the Caribbean game. And if Rockstar were to do a game like this, then we could have these systems working that way. But instead, I'm just stuck here with a game that isn't running properly, that is not optimized at all, is capped at 60, which for the sake of recording a video is not a big deal at all because the video is only going to be in 60. But the weird cropping of the, the windowed mode and then the new graphical artifacts and the crashing and the lack of safe files, like I'm just kind of pissed. <laughs> and so I guess this video serves just as a means of me complaining about it. So maybe somebody at Ubisoft who I know watches my, my content. I know a handful of you guys out there are employees. Maybe you can let us know what's going on, or maybe there's a fix that goes up within 10 minutes of this video going live. I don't know, but it's just really, really annoying to have this happen to older games. And it's happened with a handful of other titles from other studios where they update old games and then accidentally break it. Or maybe a bug is introduced or maybe a lack of optimization causes a game to break. Like Fallout 3 famously had the Windows Live issues where you couldn't actually boot the game up without going into the INI files and manually tweaking a ton of stuff because Bethesda just didn't care enough to fix one of their most successful games of all time. And I think it's just unfortunate because these games, whether the developers appreciate it or not, like these older games do hold a very special place in a lot of our hearts. Like we grew up playing them or we played them during very formative times in our lives. And sometimes you wanna go back. Sometimes you wanna go where everyone knows your name. You wanna experience this thing again. And it just sucks that sometimes it, it breaks and, and you're not able to enjoy it. Like I, I think the console version of the game is operating better now. So maybe you could go on Xbox or PlayStation and you'd be able to play Black Flag just fine, but PC's broken, which is a, a wee bit of a bummer, but what are you gonna do? Just wait patiently and look at those 2013 character models. Ooh, baby, that's a throwback. And as if all of this wasn't funny enough, I almost forgot to show you this. They updated the main menu to share some information and stuff about future projects and also to have the store updated, like I said. But if you go and you click on like, stay tuned for more pirate adventures, watch what happens. You click on it, switch to web browser. Okay. And boom. Yeah, that's right. This, this is what it spits out. Um, <laughs> even the thing that they broke it to update and add <laughs> is broken. <laughs> Dude, you can't make this up. It's just so stupid. <laughs> and then the other one, like visit AC Initiates uh, for more info and content. If you click on that, it also glitches out and it just takes you to the Ubisoft Connect website. Like, I don't, I don't understand <laughs> what happened, but it seems like everything about this update, patch, whatever to Black Flag just totally broke the game in every single way. Even the little advertising stuff that they swapped it out for is broken. It's just mind boggling. I mean, we can go like here, switch to web browser. Okay. Oh, no, that, that one's broken too. Okay. <laughs> uh, but what do you think the chances are that the additional content DLC button still works? Does that work? Let's see. What's your bet? What do you think? I think I know. 
I'm betting it'll work if it's ever done loading. Jesus, what's happening? <laughs> it's taking its sweet time. I, I'm not cutting this. This is real. This is not edited. I'm still talking. It's... It's still going. Okay, so maybe this is broken too. Um, what if I reload? No? Okay, well, even that's broken. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this has me like going crazy. Am I screwing something up? Like, is, am I missing something? Like, okay, so we go to the app itself and we've got the game here. We can go to like, properties you can see all of this here enable automatic updates it checked for updates it's good to go official website overview all of this is good to go you hit play single player it does its thing tries to install DirectX again uh, for some reason and then it'll boot in and yep we're back in and it's the same exact thing and then it takes forever to log into the ubisoft servers i don't know man this is just it's really really annoying and i will grant you it's a very first world problem to be like i want to play that pirate game and then you can't play the pirate game and then you're annoyed by it but i mean we paid for these games we own these games allegedly and then to have stuff like this happen 10 years after the game's launch you just can't play the game even if you want to that's just dumb it's just ridiculous i think they should fix this in a timely fashion in quick order but instead, it's been a while. It's been days and days and days and no word from them yet. No statements or anything. So again, maybe they fix this within 10 minutes of this video going live. That would be my luck, but maybe it's going to take another six months. Maybe they'll never fix it. I don't know. Other studios have done stuff like this before, as has Ubisoft. So I guess only time will tell and take this as your public service announcement that Black Flag is broken on PC which is a bit of a bummer. And if you have save files that you care about dearly, probably check and see if they are still there saved locally on your computer. Otherwise you might be screwed like me. But that's it for me. Thank you for watching. A uh, little bit of a bummer video today. Very sorry. I'll be back tomorrow. I've got another video tomorrow on something I got to try a little early, a little interesting. Definitely check that out. Subscribe, ring the bell to get notified of when that goes live. But other than that, thank you for watching. I love you all dearly. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.